Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the 17th through the 18th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I pulled two um, cards for you guys. One is the Romance Angels and one is um, the Angel Prayer card. And we're going to do a Celtic Cross, okay? This is what's going on around you, okay? Let's see what's challenging you guys. The underlying issue here. Past, recent past outcome is coming in. How you guys are feeling about this influence here? Your hopes, your fears, and the overall. All right, so what's going on around you is. Oh, the Ten of Wands and the King of Swords. Um, I feel like you guys, um, you're feeling a little salty right now because you feel like somebody basically worried the crap out of you. And they took advantage of you is what I'm getting here. Okay? They watched you, you know, basically break your back in a situation. And, um, yeah, and, and, and you're tired of it is what I'm getting here. You're tired of it. Okay. What's challenging you is to leave this shit. Leave it. Go. Don't put up with this anymore. Go towards things that you feel like <clears throat> are going to vibe with you. People that are going to get along with you. People that are going to want to compromise with you. Move away from this these type of people. This type of energy where, you know, you are the one that's solely responsible for keeping things afloat. You know, let's see what's going on in the recent past here for you guys. Somebody that acted like they were single, I feel. Somebody that acted like they were not in a relationship. Um, I'm getting that you guys felt like you were in a relationship by yourself. While this person was doing whatever they were doing. It's what I'm getting here, okay? Now, why this is happening is that somebody really felt like uh, they could do whatever the hell they wanted to do. This is why... You know, you're feeling like this because I feel I'm feeling that somebody took advantage of you guys is what I'm getting here. Okay. Really kind of took advantage of you. Maybe they were in and out. Don't allow that type of energy. Your challenge here is to not allow anybody to take advantage of you. Okay. When you spot it, cut it out. Okay. How you're seeing this. I think you're beating yourself up for allowing things to happen, okay? Um, Self-sacrificing, not moving, not doing anything, um, feeling like there's nothing you can do in this situation. But there is, definitely, there is. And that's not allowing it to happen, you know, people to take advantage of you, you guys. So don't beat yourself up here because we live and we learn, you know? Let's see. Hmm. You guys feel very attached to this person. And I think you a lot of you guys are still with this individual is what I'm getting here. And you feel very attached to this person, very attracted to this person. Um, but I, I'm getting that a lot of you are kind of afraid to leave the situation only because you're used to this person. Um, and this person probably has made you feel like, you know, they're the shit. Um, maybe you can't do any better than them. You know, that sort of thing is what I'm getting here, okay? Capricorn energy there. What's coming in for you guys? Wow. Um, it's disappointment. It's heartache, okay? Disappointment. Hmm. So, you know, this is almost like a heads up for some of you guys, okay? So, if you are still with this person... Um, and you know who you are, okay? If you've got somebody that, that makes you feel like they are, they're not telling you outright that they're the shit, or they're not telling you that you can't do any better than them, but the way they make you feel is that you'll never find anyone like them, or you'll never have a love like this, or, um, and you feel uneasy about them possibly like when they leave you know what they're actually doing sometimes you can't get in touch with them um you know that sort of thing 
this is coming guys okay so be mindful of that um so you don't have to actually see things to believe it okay follow your intuition um on this in this situation whoever you are because i feel that this person um is possibly doing things quite possibly your influence here is the knight of swords speak your truth speak your truth speak it now address these issues address what's hurting you address what they're doing um if if they're flaky in and out if you don't know if they really want to be committed to you or they want to be single um ask if they can't give you a clear answer you have your answer okay is i mean it's just like that all right so your hopes here is to be able to this is you guys feel very attached to this person and I'm getting that a lot of you want this person to choose you, to choose to be there for you, to choose to love you, to be committed to you. Okay. Your fear is that you'll be hurt, that you'll be left out in the cold, basically. Um, that you will not be happy. That this person will turn their back on you. That this person does not love you deep down inside. Okay. Feeling like this is a lost cause. You don't want to feel like this is a lost cause here. And the overall is worry. It's worry because I'm getting that you guys hold a lot of things in. And you're not really speaking um, about the depth of your hurt or what it is that you're feeling. What's going on here. I, I'm getting that you don't have clarity. But I'm also getting that there's something about this person that they exhibit a level of intimidation over you almost. And um, they may not be hitting you or anything like that, but just the way that they interact with you is a little intimidating, kind of manipulative, I'm feeling here, okay? So um, I think there's a need for you guys to, to actually speak your truth. Cut this out. Meet them. Meet them. Tell them exactly what it is that you feel. And how it makes you feel here. Don't allow anyone to just completely take advantage of you. And um, you're feeling like you're in a relationship by yourself. Okay, so we have Gemini here. Um, I'm feeling Scorpio as well. Maybe Aquarius, Pisces, um, Sagittarius is here. Capricorn is here, Virgo, okay. Let's see what other messages we have for you guys. The room is angels first. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Whatever that means for you. Maybe you've known this person for a long time because here I see there's a very strong um, connection between you and this person for sure. So this is probably somebody that is definitely a soulmate, maybe twin flame, um, that you guys are very connected to. You've known this person for a very long time, okay? Whether in this lifetime or a previous one. Okay, you guys may actually have children together and it's hard to kind of separate from this person, um, hard to detach, even though they come across as very detached, kind of in and out, flaky, even though you already have this family with this person possibly, okay? Let's see. Yeah, synchronicity. I feel like this is definitely a twin flame connection here. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Hmm. You know, if you guys have been seeing 555, five, five, that, that is very indicative of um, there's a major shift coming in this situation, in your life, okay? Don't be afraid of it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow of the universe because what's happening is what's supposed to happen, what's meant to happen, and it's meant to happen for your higher good. It may not feel good while it's happening, okay, because we see this is what's coming in. All right, guys? So that's what I have for you, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.